name is Tony Fushnevsky, and I'm running for C3B. Uh, thank you for having us all here today. First of all, I came here from Colorado, where I worked for a company that had 1,200 employees. Uh, the company decided to fold its operation, lay off 1,200 people in one day, and move their manufacturing facility to Malaysia. And uh, that really hurt. There was no way that 1,200 people could find jobs in Colorado Springs, which is a city the size of Spokane. Thanks to Donald Trump, though, some of the unfair trade agreements that we have entered into in the past have now been overturned or are in the process of being overturned and it's going to provide us with a much more level playing field to get our manufacturing jobs back. Uh, that along with the recent corporate tax changes have allowed businesses to come back into the United States. So let's hear a big round of applause for our current president. First of all, I'd like to talk about some of my principles. My very first principle is to support the primary government function of protecting its citizens, and that includes the unborn. I feel very strongly on this. I have 16 grandchildren. Uh, Health care reform is something that's in total chaos. With Obamacare, the system was practically gutted. We practically turned over a sixth of our economy to the federal government, and it'll take a long time to dig ourselves out of that hole. Um, the state of Washington just passed its 58th mandate requirement to be included in a uh, insurance policy in order to be legal to sell in that state. This is just madness. We have got to get the doctors and the patients involved in their health care instead of the government bureaucrats. I will support education choice to allow families to be able to afford to send their children to alternate schools including homeschooling. It's a big sacrifice for them currently. Uh, unfortunately, in this session of the legislature, a voucher bill was uh, overturned and, and not passed. I'm also a very big advocate of vocational and technical education, and I currently serve on an advisory board as an industry representative for a career and technical education group. I strongly support the Second Amendment, and this is not just a philosophical position of mine. My father served in the Polish army for six years fighting Nazis to try and get his country back. Uh, unfortunately, he was unable to return to his homeland of Poland uh, because of the uh, Germans having disarmed Poland and the communists took over. Um, there are several other issues I'd like to talk about, uh, perhaps with questions, but I'd like to say that the word conservative has been really bantered and bullied. Um, I am not a conservative, I'm a radical. I want to return some of the freedoms that we have lost that uh, our previous generations have enjoyed. Thank you and I want to earn your support.